What's up, everyone? It's your favorite neighborhood pirate wolf voice over to Fang saying, How's it going? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, my head's a little cold. Went for a w one second. I feel like I'm always talking a little nasally and high. I've said this before. I don't know why, because I'm a little high usually, but I, I can go deep. But I don't know why, but I think having the headphones on, it really just crushes my head and it's like, hi guys, like headphones off. I feel, I feel a, it's a lot easier to go a little deeper. It's easier to be more the voice I usually show people. Headphones on. Yeah, there's a little bit of pressure. It's a, it's a little tight. I have it on full. Uh, it's, it's interesting. Voice is a fascinating thing and I recommend anyone checking out a couple of videos. Anyway, that's just a little uh, thing that I thought about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I went for a walk and uh, it's hailing. So my brain is a little cold. I just got back like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> but tonight we are playing Curse of the Day Gods. Uh, like the title says, I, I think in today's session, I can beat one of the temples. I know that that makes that makes it sound like it's like, oh, big spender. It's like, if you've been watching, you know, A, how long completing a three tier temple is and B, they're not easy. <laughs> but I think I, I think I can complete one. I think I can accomplish. I think I have the tools. I think I have enough of the skill. With that being said, I haven't played in a week, so let's see how quickly I can jump in. Uh, before that, hmm. Update. Um, I said this uh, in passing on Saturday, but TikTok, uh, Silver D Fang, same spelling as Twitch. Uh, never really use TikTok, so I usually see YouTube shorts, and I might do shorts. But TikTok has a lot more uh, eyes to it and it gets a lot more traffic back to uh, Twitch. Uh, uh, just looking at the analytics from most people. Uh, but yeah, so the reason I say I don't use TikTok is because I didn't know about uh, how important hashtags were. Because like TikTok is a really bare bones system. Like... In comparison, YouTube, Twitch, like, when I make a video, I have, like, Twitch, I have, like, six options. YouTube, I have, like, 20 options of, like, do you want this? Do you want this? Do you want to add tabs? Do you want to, you know, say specifically what you're playing? Do you want, like, do you want to give a description, a photo, a backup photo? TikTok, it's literally cover photo. Do you want to do one of these three options? Title. That's it. And, um, again, don't use TikTok. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put the titles, put it in. I don't know how people are going to find me. Turns out you have to put the hashtags into the title. And people search for those hashtags. Uh, so I might go back and redo because here's the thing. You can't edit them. So I have to, uh, delete them and put them back up with the hashtags. Uh, but yeah, so I'm working on the second one already. It's, uh, uh, how I'm doing it is I'm grabbing a stream and chunking it, and I'm grabbing streams so I know how to good bits. Uh, I'm working on Siege right now, and uh, yeah, Siege was a uh, oh Siege was not my best moment, uh, but good material. So yeah, that's what's pretty much going on. Uh, everything else is working on it. Uh, oh, Thursday, this Thursday is going to be Jack stream. Next Thursday, it's going to be Bracket Fight One. Finally, I've been working on bracket fight since November. I had to pivot, but I, ha I found three people. I have the brackets for them. I'm hoping to make this a thing. Like, my idea for bracket fight is kind of part, like, tournament, well, tournament brackets, but also part just, like, podcast, kind of. <laughs> just with different, with, with certain topics. And I, I want to bring in different people and bring parts of their life. Like, the brackets I've created are... Uh, 
talk about specific parts of their characters or their content. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I really want this to do well, and uh, I, I think it's a fun idea. But for tonight, we're playing more Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, we left off, we beat the witch, uh, we're in the second part of the Snake Temple. The Crystal Caves. Okay, um, oh, healing, nice. Okay, so, that, that, I really should block more, or counter. Um, that's fire, that's our main weapon. That's our secondary weapon. Okay, not bad for uh, two-handed weapons. It's actually a lot quicker. Uh, let me see. 30% damage against poison enemies. Finishes, finishers deal critical damage. Uh, kills make enemies drop twice as much gold. 30% damage against poison enemies. Restores 1% of max health for each enemy killed. Finishers weaken enemies. Okay. We have two, 33% of all healing effects, and this one gives us dexterity, plus two. Uh, this is our normal, five, ten, five. We have one curse, uh, gold, primitive skin and bones, loses much gold, oh. Ugh, annoying. Um, I'm gonna heal a little. And because of the double 33% healing, we only need one, that is fucking awesome. Okay. Again, one, two, okay. Okay. Let's get this started. Um, upgrade. Whoa. Okay, I think this is a pretty nice start. Yay, money, 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 money. Back off. More money. Oh. Okay, this is not going to be annoying. Oh, nope, I got you. Thank you. Ooh, that's some distance. Well, that didn't work out. There we go. Okay. Okay. Gonna take it slow. Fuck, I didn't I, I didn't see the attack. I know she was in counter mode. I did that on purpose. I wanted to get her away from the other dude. Mm, it's not that strong. I thought it'd be stronger for a two-handed weapon. Whoa. N nice try. Okay, let's just put that back up. I just realized it was a two. I, I mean, not a t level two. 
I just realized I was in an enhanced version, so uh, normal attacks are not going to work as much. Am I playing a really messy game by trying to get uh, gun kills for extra gold? Yes. But I want the money. Okay. Restores one mate. Uh, more damage might be nice. Uh, I only have enough gold for this one. Honestly, yeah, that actually will help a lot. One percent base damage per point of dexterity. We have ten, so that's ten points. That should make uh, our two-handed weapon a little bit more useful. So this is tough. Um, I'm going to go attributes. But gold would also be nice. <laughs> I see you. I really need to pay attention to uh, my stamina. Damn, those are some big boys. Come here. Okay, uh, not great. Took a, too much corruption. Now we're going to get a second curse, but whatever. I see you. Didn't see you, but I'm glad that worked out. Damn it. Come on. Ooh. Yeah, I, I I know she's healing. There we go. took way too much effort and too much damage. I play that really wrong. I, 
I wish the gun did more damage, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wow. So it works like a boomerang. Okay, come on. You want to try that again? I think I gotta stop trying to, you know, get gold damage. It's just not worth it. <laughs> hey, gold! Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I think I need it. Having more health and more uh, attack will really help. It's a risk. Let's get gold. Okay, what's our second curse? Curse of the Headless. The memories of a hundred tragic deaths can bring both power and madness to the strongest warrior's soul. As long as you haven't killed 30 enemies all day, which take is increased by 50, you gain permanent haste, increased movement speed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we killed way over 30. <laughs> Poison gas. Nothing. Damn it. My timing was off. Damn slugs were blocking my way. I actually think we did better on that one. Did take some corruption, which is a bummer. Oh shit, could have used that. Come on. Come on, come on, Miss Snake. Whoop. My turn. Money, 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 money. Uh, hey, fool, does conquering dead gods make them alive again? No, they go to super dead. I mean, they go to super hell. With Super Devil.
Damn it. Heal, heal, heal. Hi. Thanks for coming to me. Okay, now that we got the healer out. Ah, uh, yes. New Dead Plus. I mean, that's the only way I play Red Dead Redemption is on New Dead Plus. Weapon. Oh, we got a third curse. Great. Uh, malicious flora. Okay. If you think the walking dead are frightful, wait until the three trees come collecting their pound of flesh. Living roots have increased attack speed and accuracy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Why get close if I can just use the field? Dang it. There we go. Oh, round three. Of course. Just gotta take a little bit more damage. Uh, Whispering Ages. Now. Uh, Seeker's Mace. 5% damage per level of relic. Ugh. That's tempting. For 40? That's not bad. Oh, I get 20% base damage if secondary weapon's a pistol. Uh, honestly, I think I'm gonna go for it. The Seeker's Mace. Gold. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't looking good for us. Wow, that is accurate.
Um, hmm. Honestly? Ugh. Okay. I think I gotta restore. Yeah. With my double 33%, that 13%, yeah. I needed the health. It's a good weapon, but I need the health. Okay, Seeker's Mace already helping a lot. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the Seeker's Mace is helping out a lot. Okay, what do we get? Uh, killing a burning enemy reserves. I'd rather have the gold. How are you guys doing today? How has your weekend been? I'm trying to think of stuff to say. Oh, I started the, the live-action Avatar. I'm two episodes in. Honestly, I think Netflix is doing really well this year, or the last, like, six, eight months, of live-action uh, adaptions from the East. One Piece was fun, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Avatar. Uh, redeemed. Oh, water balloons! No! Yeah, I don't know why. It doesn't... It doesn't work. For some reason, I've been trying my best to make it work. I don't know what I'm missing. But I appreciate the water balloon attack. Ratia also. Hi, Brian! Come on. Come on, ugly.
Yeah, yeah. I didn't see myself getting out of that one. Guess time to take a bath. Hey, how's it going? Avatar was alright, better than the movie at least. Well, the movie was a travesty and uh, should never have been made. Uh, this, actually, even though the creators did apparently like leave the project halfway through, does feel like it has, you know, fans a part of it. The original Avatar? Absolutely. I, I love the original Avatar The Last Airbender. It's a great show. Hmm. Okay, hold off on that. Um... I'm, I think I'm gonna hold off on this, too. What do we have? Weighted blades for uh, damage increase based on the distance traveled for impact up to 50%. Desperation flail, 50% damage per missing point of stamina. It's not a bad uh, start. Skullfield revolver, fire attacks for four perfect shots, offhand combat, no ability, 100% damage against weakened enemies. I think I'm going to take this one. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's do it again. I feel like I can... I feel like I can do this... Uh, this temple. Hmm. I'm gonna go gold. Why? I don't know. Feel like it. Not against my starting hand. Also, weapons are... Like, I can go weapons next. item uh sure it's just an overall a better version of what i have it's always nice when you get lucky with a free extra item okay will not reach Okay. I'm liking the combo of throwing knives and whip. More distance, more uh, more damage, and if they get too close, I can whip them away a little. Not bad. The feather spear is not bad either. Just not the combo I'm working with. Let there be light. Okay. Ooh, another spear. The same spear. Literally. 
Uh, I think that's the first time I've seen uh, just the same spear, not even upgraded. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go attributes. I also watched Korra. Korra was fine. Uh, bigger issues, but still fun. Okay, I don't know what to do there. Can I burn them? I can burn them. Will they die? They will die in a horrific sound. I shouldn't get comfortable, but I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty comfortable right now. No one gets away from the finish whip. Uh, unless I fuck up and I accidentally dodge. Only me can make myself stupid. Okay. Oh! Ah! Oh, hello. God, that's loud. Hello. Hello, Raiders. My name is Silver D. Fang. I am a pirate wolf boy. I play games. I collab. I talk. I enunciate. I pretty much do whatever I want. Uh... It's not you. I have good headphones and I really need to look into the alert sounds. On the note, uh, if you ever raid me, I will know. <laughs> I cannot ignore you. But uh, the, the reason I paused was I like to give shoutouts. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while. Have you been, Sin? What were you up to? What were you playing? Uh, that looks right. Yep. Uh, my chat, uh, Sin is super sweet. She is a fun... She's a fun VTuber. She has a really interesting way of life. I love talking to her about her personal stu uh, personal experiences. Uh, that, that makes it sound a lot deeper and darker. No, she's an interesting person, and I... I'm, I'm trying to not give away. Go check her streams. You'll have fun. I always have fun. I've been good. Played a little. Shift happens. We have Draco times three. Been too long. Yeah, no, it's been way too long, man. I don't know shift happens, but uh, I hope it was fun. Noise raid. Bam, 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 bam. Noise, noise, noise. Oh, if you really want to uh, freak me out with a noise, uh, uh, do a follow. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Actually, that's more me freaking out my audience. <laughs> because I, uh, I repeat the last uh, sentence of what comes up. I'm not going to give away what happens when you follow me. Whip. Whip. Ooh, I like I like the little emotes. Those are cute. But yeah, uh for uh the uh chatters coming in, we are playing Curse of the Dead God. It is a roguelite from a couple years ago. Uh Aztec mythology or Incan mythology, still not sure which one. Uh we go through the temples of three dead gods. There's light and shadow. There's a really cool undead enemies. It's just a lot of fun, man. Come on. Wake up. 
Whoa! Nope. Uh, there's also a corruption meter in the right. Corruption, when corruption fills to 100, I get a curse. That stays with me for the rest of, uh, the run. Yeah, that was dumb. Noise. Ah, poison. How have I been? Uh, January was rough. February has been a really good month. I've, uh, I've updated a lot. I'm really pushing... Uh, still really pushing the stream and the whole VTuber thing. I, I I can't say I'm going all in because I'm not making any money off it. And I'm still looking for part-time work. But uh, I, I've really pushed more. Uh, just started a TikTok. Uh, YouTube streams have been... I don't know. Streams on YouTube from Twitch have been going on for almost a year now. Which I, I'm really happy about. And... Working on my 2D model, which, uh, complications, but still working on it. Yeah. And on real life, uh, m my blood pressure is good? I don't know. Life is kind of stagnant right now. <laughs> I uh, was just talking to Chad about uh, the live-action Netflix Avatar. I've seen two episodes. It's not bad. Honestly, Netflix is doing pretty well with the uh, live-action adaptions. Too bad it's Netflix, so none of them will ever see an end. No matter how good they do. Damn it. Flip, flip, flip. Ah. No, my light! I need that! For doing less damage. Yeah, you do more damage in the dark. Damn it! I didn't see him charge up. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. Uh, new weapons. Do we want a new weapon? Um, removes one corruption for each. Ooh, 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 shit, that might be really worth it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the weighted weapons. Only two extra damage, but removes one corruption for each enemy kill and 20% chance to inflict poison. Uh, yes, please. Bye, normal throwing knives. Hello, new throwing knives. Um, gold. If we want to, we can upgrade uh, in the next one. I see you. I appreciate for you guys not waking up. Yeah, that was dumb. That's what I should have done. 
Okay. Uh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Nah, fuck it. We're moving on. Oop, not what I meant to do. Oh, okay, it didn't go off. Money, 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 money. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna set summon off. to heal. I'm really liking the throwing knives. It's working for me. Relic. Um, I, you know what? I want the 30% to all healing effects. That'll be good for late game. Uh, let's upgrade. Could use more attributes, but, uh, and I think an upgrade could go really well. I forgot. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Okay, come on. Heal, heal. Well, I shouldn't say heal. Energy, energy, stamina. Ah! Also, uh, for Sin and Sin's chat, if you're still in... Uh, as you can probably guess, it's really easy to spook me, so really don't worry. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, projectiles. Yeah, the same. That same. So it's just a three boost in damage. Uh, twenty percent damage in melee weapons. A sword. It is not twenty percent chance to inflict fire damage. Uh, I'm not, uh, I can't use my favorite because it's an upgrade, right? Boo! Ah! Ah! Fuck me! Oh! Ah, oh lordy, oh lordy! <laughs> uh, I jest, but honestly, if that was a sound alert, uh, that actually probably would have freaked me out. Now, nah, right now, my sound alerts are all fun. Uh, need to buy stream avatars. Crowd control isn't really fully working. I really need to get rid of some of these. Uh, but sound alert works. Including... This one. I'm good. You can't see it, but just imagine a little
Uh, gold offerings remove five corruption. Yeah. Plus two dexterity, which is uh, strength. If you ain't out of control, you ain't in control. Amen, brother. Also, fool, I am so. Su I hope I, if you're not listening, I'm surprised because I feel like Tokyo Drift is not just my childhood teenage. I feel like it's yours too. I don't know. We never really talked about Fast and Furious. I just feel like any guy uh, that was anywhere from seven to fifteen in the early to mid-2000s, just watch Tokyo Drift. Uh, do I need a heal? Not really. But there's, like, no healing at all. Unless it's an unknown. So maybe I should just take it. Ooh, Brian! Uh, put that on, put that on your song list. Sing Teriyaki, sing Teriyaki Boy's, uh, Tokyo Drift song on the guitar. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Uh, also, anyone who doesn't know, Brian, uh, is a VTuber. He also does a lot of, like, musical stuff. Uh, dude, it, dude sounds awesome, and his guitar skill is really good. Oh, hey, so you have seen the movie, Brian. <laughs> Either that or you've seen any coming-of-age movie in the 2000s about a teenage dude. Again, it's not, it's not poetry or cinematic high art. It's just dumb fun. Uh, I'm gonna need some light here. Nope. Nope. Just whip it. Also, yeah, expectations are important going into movies. I went into the first Suicide Squad expecting nothing. It got dumb fun out of it. See, it's funny you say that about the first one. That's what I got out of the second one. The first one I got, uh, Cash Grab. It felt, it had no heart. It felt like every character was its bare bones. Like someone just read a two-sentence synopsis and just is like, roll with it. We're making another beef flick action movie. The second one, you can feel like the characters had personality, and it was dumb as fuck. No light? No light. There we go. Okay, now just you and me. Back! Okay. Oh yeah, the second one is awesome. But I would not look at it and be like, this is the high art of movies. This is what storytelling is about. This is character depth. It is good character development. It's a good story. It's nothing to write home about. But what it can be written home about 
It's fucking fun. I, sh I really should watch Peacemaker. I hear that is just as insane and fun. I'll take the two decks. Oh, by the way, for uh, YouTube, uh, who can't see the chat uh, later. Or actually, no, you should be able to see the chat. Either way, we're talking about Suicide Squad and THE Suicide Squad. Get you away. Ah, if I'd have got away. Pretty terrifying seeing that chase you down from half a, a screen. Okay. Um, if you're saying critical damage, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I'll just take the uh, the yachts gift. It's cheaper, and I don't really care about shopping too much. Don't don't get me wrong; it's not wrong. It's not bad. It does, you know, make stuff cheaper. I I just don't want to spend the extra money. You know what? Let's keep it even, relic. Uh, five ads, man. I feel bad. Like, if I was in a better place, I would take them off. But right now, ads is all I'm getting money from. And even then, it's not that much. But every cent I can make means I can put more into it. Keep that on! God damn it, stop going for the light! Yeah, there was no winning there. I either take poison or I take corruption. Okay, what's the whip? Um, yeah, it's just a better version of what I have. Why not? Uh, yeah, getting eight corruption off is not going to help. Still going to take a curse here. I see you. Is it more insulting to, like, just be jabbed by one knife at a time? Or to be continuous? I wonder.
Yeah, I should have threw another knife, but whatever. You live, you learn. Dang it. Okay. Now it's just you and me, big boy. Come on. I got you, baby. Uh, Fifty percent damage to lightning attacks for dexterity. Okay. Uh, Twenty percent damage taken from champions. Minus. Ooh, that that might be a good one, especially with uh, zombie boy coming up. I think I'm gonna take this. And I got enough gold. Templars amulet. What do we have? We have four. Oh, I already have an obsidian shard. Neat. Um. You know what? I'm gonna go with the unknown. Upgrade is cool, but I'm curious about the unknown. Malicious floor. Okay, so the plants are faster and more accurate. Okay, I can live with this one. We got this one earlier. Usually I would, you know, speak in an ominous voice, but we, we saw this one today. Wow, it killed uh, the it killed the uh, the mushroom. I thought it would just you know turn it off or turn it on, I guess. Oh, there goes another mushroom. Dang it! Whip it. Whip it good. Damn healer! Can't get off a good combo. Okay, just you and me. Let's dance, big spooky. Whip that ass! I was not looking at my stamina. That was me being an idiot. I'm sorry, something's bugging me and I just want to get... Uh, I just want to deal with it. I feel bad about the water balloon thing. I'm, before I forget again, because I keep forgetting, I'm just going to take that off
Also, if you have any more suggestions for what should be uh, points, tell me, because uh, I'm always at down for more. But for now, that's good. I don't know. Yeah. This is how my brain works. I Like, I'm here fighting, competing, talking about Suicide Squad in the back of my head. I feel bad about someone spending 250 points on something that doesn't work. Um, plus five on top of uh, three. Huh. Hmm. That's a pretty big boost. You know what? Yeah, let's uh let's do 1200 for uh, the desperation fail upgrade. Gold. Okay. We spent money, now we make money. Okay, uh, honestly, that went pretty well. Let's come back here. Not my finest moment, but it worked. Should have just thrown the dagger, but no, I went for light. Gotta get past that. Apparently I didn't need to get past that. Where's the exit? Is it over here? Uh, looks like it's over here. There we go. Okay, that wasn't the exit. Where's the exit? Oh, over here. Percent damage against weakened enemies, plus three dexterity. I'll just take it for the mm, dexterity. More damage, please. Okay. Always unsettling. Uh, so, with these, we can take the challenge, or we can just move on. 
I'm just gonna move on. Because I'm gonna need everything for this dude. Need to keep distance. Fuck! Okay. Oh, that took a lot of damage that I'm not proud of, but we beat it. And honestly, I didn't know if we could beat it. Uh, 200% greed kill, time limit. Sure. Um... Yeah, I'd rather have, uh, I'd rather have this. That sucks, but whatever. I, all I'm missing is 187 gold. I, I'll, I'll live. The Sunken Sanctum. Okay, so we're gonna get a curse right off the bat. Because I need to heal. Should we do it one more time? Yeah. What's weapon? What's our curse? Blurred vision. I don't think I've seen this one. The mind is confused and desires conflict. Uh, di desires conflicting. The path is veiled and the future uncertain. Part of the map transforms into them. Okay, that's fine. I'm not butthurt by that.
Let's go away. Sorry if I'm being quiet. I am. I am so serious right now. I am. Oh. Level three is tough, man. Everyone hits harder and takes more damage. That is very delayed. Oh, and that's just uh, room one. God damn. Okay, what do we have here? Um, no. Maybe each attack consumes five gold. Okay. Each kill permanently increases base damage. Ooh. It's, oh, it's a dagger. Ugh. Uh, the whip is really nice and is more damage. Um, also deals crit while stamina is delayed, depleted. That's not bad. Um, no. Uh, finisher is weakened enemy. I just don't use it enough. Oh, wait, I have favor. Um. Poison attacks, 20% damage. If main weapon is a maze, it does not. Uh, 20% crew gun, 30% damage against. Mmm, that might be really good. I will have to take 60, though. Ugh. Um. One more time. A lot of bombs. Uh, kills trigger a large blast that weakens all nearby enemies, so that's not bad. Uh, 30% damage against Electra. Okay. Throwing bombs deal additional damage along their path. Uh, 20% critical damage, 30% damage against electrical. The problem is, the problem is, I'm going to try to kill more with the throwing knife because it's minus one corruption. Uh, this is not bad. You know what? Let's go for it. Crackling grenade. Unknown. Oh, hey, healing. I'll take it. I'll take extra healing. You know what? Let's go unknown. Attributes are cool, uh, but I'm good right now. Are you fucking serious? Healing into healing? Okay. Uh, whatever. I don't take damage, but I don't get any extra. And I take 20 corruption. Do I actually do combat here? Yes.
Okay. There's more. This is too much of a big room for there not to be more enemies. Yep, see him. I am glad it doesn't heal herself. That would be really annoying. Crackling bomb coming real handy. Okay. What the fuck are you? I have no idea. I've never seen that before. I guess I'll never know what a upgraded version of that bug is. Because I've never seen that before. Uh, I'm just going to take the gold. Okay, and back to this annoying annoyance. There we go. I just got to play footsie with uh, snake darts. Okay. There you are. Fuck you. You know what? Let's move on. <laughs> I just see three snake ladies, one of them's upgraded. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. Whoop, ran out of stamina. They're both upgraded? Are you serious? Okay, um, what do we have here? Minus 10 gold offering, 7, 20% damage and light, 8 dexterity. Uh, ooh, okay, fifth, mm, you know what, 
I have one more favor. I'm honestly good. I'll be honest. I don't want any of them. I'm going to get a second curse. This could really mess, mess things up. Shadow Fla- Oh! Ha ha ha. Okay, this one's a annoying one. Even the light and warmth of fire can be touched by the cold embrace of darkness. Sombra's ears now burn with a dark flame and cannot be lit. Oh, okay, so this isn't the one I was thinking. The one I was thinking is, uh... Everything is in dark darkness. Every... Ah, fuck. That's, this is what I mean. Like, I feel like it's pinching on the top of my head, and I feel like I'm going high pitch. Everything is, uh, the one I'm thinking of is everything was in darkness. This one is some stuff is in darkness. That's much better. Yep, see? That glow? Oh, that sucked. Okay, I see you. Let's see. Twenty percent damage to secondary weapons of shield. That's not uh, honestly. Yeah, the weighted blade I have now is better. I could have gone just for the straight damage, but poison is nice, and the minus corruption still is going to come in handy. And let's be honest, I'm doing most of my damage with my whip and my bomb. The knives are there for corruption, uh, minusing. Okay, so this is the right way. Um, hmm. Over here? Over here. That reactivates really quick. Okay.
Was trying to kill it. Uh, didn't do enough damage. Bummer. Okay. Uh, 70? You know what? Sure, it's the last one. Uh, but who would I swap with? So, I'd be getting plus 7 if I did that one. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Yep. Okay, this is the boss. Uh, give me a second. I need to go to the washroom, and I will be right back, and we will see the third level boss uh, for the first time, for the snake one. Uh, I'm, I'm, we might win! Okay, I'm back. No. God fucking damn it, it does this every time. And I forget every time. For some reason, when I leave Cursed I Got, it just automatically closes. God fucking damn it. Okay, what that means is, um, we gotta do that again. Oh, it didn't save at all. <sighs> mm! I'm so disappointed. Like, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed with myself, but why would I... So, the reason I keep forgetting is why would I think that a game would automatically close itself just by going to a different tab? It's so fucking stupid. I 
I don't know what to do, guys. I'm kind of disheartened right now of playing more. Um, fuck, yeah, no, and we were, we were doing really well. We had a really good setup. We, again, never seen the boss, so it would have been cool to see the boss and maybe win. Uh, I am lost, yep. The game didn't save, and because it automatically uh, uh, closed itself. So, yep, lost all that progress. Lost all those skulls, all the the rings. Pretty much that was 30 minutes of, uh, well, content, but waste in the game. Yeah, no, this is the only game, but for some reason, if I... If I leave and I put it on a different screen for longer than, like, 10 seconds, it'll automatically close itself. I do not know why. Okay. Uh, what are we at? Okay. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is we're going to do an event, which is kind of a fun, kooky thing, and it's a great way to get skulls. It's also usually a lot quicker because they're tough. Uh, the craving is absolute when basically needs, uh, you start at death store, blood and gold are, okay, yeah, let's do this. And then after, after this, if I feel up to it, I will do another one. If not, you know what, we'll, we're gonna watch cartoons. Because I need to pick me up, because that actually really hurt me. Also, I didn't grab good weapons. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, if you wanted three hours uh, at least of Curse of the Dead God, but uh, that that hurt me. <laughs> that really hurt me. <laughs> okay, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to look at you. Okay, we'll do one of these, but first... You know what? Sure. Okay, this challenge is going to suck. Because I believe uh, I hallucinate. The fiery halls. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this is hallucination. One second, I forgot what my weapons were. I'm not gonna lie, I'm playing on tilt. Yeah, this is really just not my best. I played such a good run, and uh, don't worry, next week I'll be back and I'll be like, okay, we're going to do this. Or I might even uh, play a little offline to get to where we were, just so we can start with uh, the third Serpent temp Temple. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm playing on tilt. Look to the moon to see the sun's light in its reflection. Look to the sun if you want to go blind. Your torch loses its fire. Light. This is the one I was talking about. This is the all darkness. Okay. I 
I think the thing that annoys me the most is I can't see uh, their health bars. Ow! Ow! Yeah, okay. The bow seems to be doing pretty well. Go away, owl. You're not even real. You're a figmentation of my something. Psyche. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do this one. Blazing ring. Sure. 
Okay. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better, but I'm also still a little tilted, I'm not gonna lie. But I really do enjoy this game, and playing it is fun to me. It's just a bummer when you work hard, and it all goes to waste. This is also a really long room. Well, there was going to be more stream no matter what. Even if I was upset, I still wouldn't have, like, ended the stream. We would have just done something else. <laughs> I am a professional. A professional what? I don't know. Come here, little owl ghost. Upgrade? Upgrade. Um... Yeah, okay. Remove one corruption for each enemy kill. 10% base damage. Yeah, I'm down. I'm curious, can I... Okay, so I can see these stats. Uh, okay. Oh! We're at the boss. Dang it, dang it. Yeah. 
Okay, I thought I was gonna lose, not gonna lie. But yay, we won! Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, okay. Nah, let's take the health. The Sun Gallery. Not doing bad for uh, an event. And a pretty annoying event, to be honest. Can't see health, can't see stats. Uh, when they die, owls and... Yeah, whispers all the time. Yeah, this sucks. So yeah, we're doing not bad. Come on. Uh, sure. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the shadow bird on fire is a really nice effect. Critical damage, more punchy power. Honestly, this kind of makes me feel a little bit better, even though it would have been really... We were set up so well, and we probably made a lot of skulls and uh, jewels. But with these events, we get extra skulls for every room, so... Eh, we're kind of making them up, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, how to get rid of him. He kept making dudes and making dudes stronger. Oh, you're you're uh, upgraded.
Thank you for the light. Uh, heal. I can. I, I'm gonna guess. I need the healing. Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Thirty percent darkness. That's gonna help. Poison attacks. Bonus. Boot. Uh, boat. More damage. I was wondering when we get a second curse. There is much in common between a pretender and a flame. They are both driven by a hunger to consume all within their grasp. Fr uh, flame forever traps activate automatically if you stand in front of them. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, not my best play. I, I won't lie. Damn it! Wow, a lot of the owls are getting trapped. I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay. More damage in the dark. It makes sense. Nope. Interesting. Is there normally other passageways that you can see? I was surprised that we haven't seen uh, the the golem yet. There's more. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Ooh, shiny. Oop, watch into that one. Come on.
Um. Nah, mine's corruption. Uh, I'll take T Mock. I'll take the more health. Not my best moment. I wouldn't do anything, but it makes me feel better. I'm okay. I'm enjoying the bombs. Uh, no. Minus corruption. The darkness is helpful. Wow, we already made it to the Cursed Twins. Ooh, gotta keep my distance. Well, that's a bummer, but I still think we did pretty well. <laughs> Most damage, the temple. Okay, what did we get? Uh, plus 26? Nice. Okay, we're at 137. I'm down, I'm down. We also got plus 5, okay. Not as much, but it makes me feel better. Doom! Hey, girl. You came at a good time. Uh, I... Kind of got a hiccup, uh, my game crashed, and uh, it lost a lot of, well, my last run. My last run was really good. I made it to uh, the third and final boss and lost all of it. Just finished, you know, gained some skulls, but I think I might switch over to watching old cartoons to make myself feel better because I am a little upset. 
So yeah, you want to come in for cartoons? Uh, let's do a third, third restored altar. Build. Build that wall. Build that table. Uh, yeah, I like this. Okay, just uh, getting to a place where I can save all my process progress. Okay, there we go. We'll pick that up next Tuesday. Like I said, I might uh, play it off so I can get to the final uh, boss of the uh, Serpent Temple. Okay, uh, gonna go over there for now, and I'm gonna go find some cartoons. And I put it on the table, and it has a straw. Well, toss! Oh, I see my straw! Hey, Mom. Underneath the couch. Don't even say. I mean, it's up to you if you want people hearing you complain on online. It's okay. I'm going upstairs now, Alex. Also, in video format, because I keep these. And Twitter. No, not Twitter. TikTok. Sorry. Just had to explain uh, what live streaming is and what video content making is. And yeah, people can hear you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what we're watching. Uh, we are watching. I have a channel that I go to who does uh, Saturday morning blocks from the 80s, 90s, and like early 2000s. And we're actually watching a 12 hour video on Fox Kids. Uh, where did we leave off? Well, you know what? First, let me um, go over here. Let's see. 3.30. Uh, where on earth is... Ooh, where on earth is Carmen San Diego? That's fun. Where on Sorry, before that. Just chatting. Or just dance. Who knows? Let's see how this goes. Earth is Carmen San Diego. Where is Carmen San Diego? Carmen San Diego, where on earth? Carmen San Diego. Oh, yeah, no. I, one second, it's a little bit louder than I expected. Uh, yeah, I've seen the Netflix, uh, reboot. I actually prefer that over this one. This one's good, but the Netflix gave Carmen a character, story development. It was just a lot more fun. But this is, this is also enjoyable. Yeah, it gives her a story. It gives her a name. Carmen's not actually her name. It's Black Sheep. The animation, I think, is probably better in this one, but you know what? Flash animation has its touches. Oh, no. Uh, the video games, honestly, are not that good. I've tried as well. They're not fun.
I mean, weren't those games made for eight-year-olds? From one great lady to another, Catherine, let's go play in a warmer climate for a while, shall we? Can you hear the show well? To me, with my headphones, it's blaring, but I know that it's a lot quieter for you guys. Doc. Oh, Catherine has many admirers, even a thief like you, come. Get going! Bless my borscht. Okay. Okay, was there always a ice cougar? This time, I'm coming okay. out ahead, Carmen. It's not whether you win or lose the game, player. I also like the fact that but player how much fun you can make it for in me, the Bobby. reboot I actually I felt like a character statue. and not just like a weird disconnect. Because yeah, for most of the part, it's cool, we'll it's in their own world, back. and then it's like, oh, nope, this is a video game played by a 10 year old. You say you want to be a street fighter. You're no street fighter. Not until you master the six world warriors of the Street Fighter 2 handheld game. This is for the handheld. And rolling attacks, oh, that game is gross. It's, it's not good. Beat three in a row. But they're making it sound like the most intense thing ever. Honda, Blanca, it's Mr. Gaming Fox. Watch, but with Street kicks. Fighter 2 handheld game. Doom from Tiger. Batteries not included. Playing hard, you'll come through. Yeah. One sport, Tony. To be fair, I also like social tips. Doing your best takes practice and smart eating. Like this complete breakfast, including some sweet crunch of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Come on, see if you're any good. Good, they're great. Get ready for these American. You come. That bad. Everyone's talking about watch Batman the animated series weekday afternoons on Fox. Now back to our show. I do also just a little nice little nod. I do like that they made a uh, player Canadian. <laughs> so uh, yeah, kind of chilling here in Tahiti, you know, doing the old vacation thing. <laughs> yeah! Hey! <laughs> Real smooth, Romeo. Go ahead, Chief. Hot tip, hot tip. Whoa! Hot sand, hot sand, hot sand. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, why so glum, Beach Blanket? I just geeked out with the best looking girls in Tahiti, Chief. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff, Zach. You'll meet plenty of other girls. Maybe not on this planet, but hey, I've seen. All right, all right, back to business, you two. Carmen San Diego's at it again. Late last night, she stole the coach Catherine the Great used when she was crowned Empress of Russia. But she only used it to ride to her next time, this statue of Catherine the Great. Do I detect a Catherine the Great theme developing, Chief? Well, that's what you and the dateless wonder here are gonna find out. Oh, yeah, real nice. And I've arranged for a Russian detective to help you on this one. We're on it, Chief. We call oh, him man. Victor Victorson. Player, see five us out of here. Fasten those Porsche belt scam jammers. You're boogie boarding from the warm winter climate of Tahiti to the frigid winter temps of St. Petersburg, Russia. What are, they, what are they gonna say about Russia? Come on, give me some Russian facts. American game or American show. Okay. Okay. Cool. And Lake Baikal, the deepest lake on the planet Earth, at over one mile from surface to sediment. That's the bottom of Yes, girls and boys, it's Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia. Be the first on your block to own this fully posable action figure commemorating one of the most influential women in history, your little empress. Kids, feel the thrill Catherine the Great felt expanding Russia's borders by 200,000 square miles. Know the joy she knew starting the famous Hermitage Museum and establishing Russia's very first school for girls over 200 years ago. So, a couple really good things. And then taking over like Georgia, Ukraine, I'm guessing geography wise. Like, <laughs> nice way it's like, yes, they expanded Russia. Yeah, those were actual countries. The ice broke my fall. 
I'm Tatiana, from the Acme Detective Agency in Moscow. I'm... Uh, oh, Zach. Uh, uh, yeah, Zach. <laughs> Come, I brought some warmer coats for you both. Yes! Thank you, Chief! Though so why would Carmen steal a statue and leave a snow sculpture? <laughs> That's such an exotic name. Tatiana. <laughs> oh, this is cringe. This is oh, this is so this weird. One might mean it's Carmen's not weird. Not clue, the right word. It's so uncomfortable. Or she's going after next. Look, another part to the clue. Mahjong tiles? That's an ancient Chinese game. Maybe Carmen's telling us to look for her in China. But what's or the tiger got to do with it? Casinos. Wait to Vegas. Tiger? China? Tiger of? The Tiger of Shin. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Zach, you are so smart to know that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, too. The Tiger of Shin. So. Everyone uh, knows the Tiger me. of Shin. Can somebody please tell me what's going on? The number one could stand for the first emperor of China. Player, some help, please. He's the guy who built the Great Wall along 4,000 miles of China's border to keep enemies out. His name was Jin Shi Huang Di, but he was also known as the Tiger of Shin. Number one tiger. I'll be honest, I didn't realize it was the first emperor to do the Great Wall. That That's him, interesting. I think I just figured out where. Watch this. Player, bring up a world map a sec. <laughs> She's Check going for out, the wall. Eddie. Imaginary lines of latitude run around the Earth parallel to the equator, right? And lines of longitude run from the North Pole to the South Pole. But Zach, they can't help us if we don't know exactly I mean, I think they were right about who the first emperor was. Has gone to. Hi, you're forgetting how she likes to play games with us, Ivy. Look at these Mahjong tiles. They're giving us perfect coordinates. Right. These Chinese symbols are north, east, south, and west. The uh, directions of the four players at the game table. Okay. Or As someone who actually pl uh, plays Mahjong, um, only two of... No, three. So No, actually, no. Only two of them are actually uh, directions. Actually, no, none of them are directions. We got the red dragon, we got a blank, we got a actual, you know, blank tile, then numbers. Like, I believe that's one, three, oh shit, four and seven, and then red dragons on top. Or, no, 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 red dragons on bottom, green dragons on top. None of them are actually the directions. Are north, east, south, and west. The directions of the four players oh. at the game table. Or the four points of a compass. Well, uh, so this is time for me to say I don't know, I don't know Cantonese or Mandarin. I just play mahjong. And apparently, not that well. Tiles have symbols that stand for numbers, like on playing cards or dominoes. So Carmen is at thirty-four degrees north by one hundred eight degrees east. Zach, I am very impressed. You'll change huh? your tune once you see him open a bottle of soda. It's not a pretty sight. Uh, yeah, I love you too, Ivy. Player, C5 us to Xiang, China. I wonder what I get when I do C5 and the stream is broken. If I didn't know better, with all this fog, I'd say we're in London, not China. You hear that? Don't be afraid. Yeah! What in the world was that? I don't know, but here it comes again. Let's ah! get out of here! <laughs> Nothing like a good old terracotta train section. Yeah, those things are like 2,000 pounds. I think you can globes, move fast enough. Coordinates are called what? Uh... We'll be right back. Okay, I was going to make a jo joke. It's longitude and latitude. Hey, Fox kids, run to your mailbox. Cool. Nuts to the end. And pink. Oh, to watch Spencer and Shusha. Comic book fans. Next Yay! November 13th, the comic book convention's coming to town. If you live in the Pittsburgh area and you collect comic books, be at the Green Tree Marriott as collectors from around the state gather for one day to buy, sell, and trade their favorite comic books and related materials. Whether you're looking for Golden Age, Silver Age, Image, Valiant, or just that hard to find Ooh. issue, this is the place for you. That's next Saturday, November 13th. Oh, I'm busy. At the Green <laughs> The imaginary lines on maps and globes are called Mahjong. latitude and yeah. longitude. But they are Mahjong type. Help me, Ivy! 
If only I had a time machine and also wanted to go to Pittsburgh. Thanks. Come on, let's follow those rails. Yeah, Carmen can't be far now. Your brother Zuck is so... How do you say it in English? Mm, desperate to impress you? <laughs> well, I was thinking brave, but trust me, the word is desperate. Oh, don't... Don't cost block. Okay. Let him... Let him make his own mistakes. Whoa. What is it? Which he will. Site. The first emperor of China had his artists make an army of 6,000 uh, buried with him. No, not a Steelers fan. Probably designed him to look like his real army. And get this, they've been buried here with Qing Shi Huang Di for over 2,000 years. Shh, someone's coming. Also, what else is in Pittsburgh? I know it's like known for a lot of factories, a lot of steel. Let's check it out. A lot of like teams, but like nothing really. Uh -oh. It's one of those Acme detectives. It's you all the Acme out. detectives. It's three of those Acme detectives. So, you're first. Catch. Huh? And you're next. We want to play 52 pickup. Uh, remember when, when bad we guys did everything on roller yet. skates? We can follow these clues. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, how hard do you think? Uh, do you think Zach is cute? How? <laughs> yeah, and for Mike is edible. Okay. Uh, two things with that. Uh, how long do you think, uh, the actor, uh, <laughs> had to do that and do Carmen Sandiego in a Chinese accent before, <laughs> uh, before they were like, mm, just, you know what? Now you're not, <laughs> you know what? You're just the right amount of racist. <laughs> God, that was bad. And did she just literally ask her sis, uh, his sister? If she if he if she finds her kid brother cute, okay. Come on, he's my brother. I can't figure the connection between a statue of Catherine the Great from Russia and the sixteen clay soldiers she stole here. What is Carmen up to? And what do these playing cards mean? Hmm. They're a fun game. Wait a minute, Ivy. These cards are almost all Jack's King's Queens, and there's only forty-eight in the deck. Sounds like Pinochle, a card game with only forty-eight cards. But Quick! There are only 12 in to the game. old folks' home. Whoa, guys, guys, Carmen's showing us her hand again. 48 and 12 could be latitude and longitude. Player, bring up the world map a sec. Oh, we're in Antarctica. Flip them, flip the numbers. And remember when the henchman gave us the cards, he said, you're first. Well, latitude always goes first. My deck had 48 cards, so try latitude 48 degrees. And mine had 12. Longitude 12 degrees. But without knowing if the 48 degrees latitude is north or south of the equator, or if the 12 degrees longitude here is east or west of the prime meridian, which is zero degrees through Greenwich, England, ugh, Carmen could be at any of these four spots. Ah, but well, then we I do don't a simple process she, of elimination. I don't think she's in the Only ocean. one of these sits on dry land. I say we make our first stop in Bavaria, Germany. But where exactly is the question? Ah, tip gumshoes. This just in from CrimeNet. Carmen's pulling off another robbery. In Bavaria, Chief? I don't know, probably well, not. Well, aren't we just the teacher's pet? Hmm. But I have been She and her henchmen were spotted near the most photographed castle in Europe. That's the famous castle Neuschwanstein. Player, see it if is I a just nice took Bavaria, castle. Germany, and hold the sauerkraut. You know what? I like sauerkraut. This is your captain speaking. We'll be seeing you talking from China to Bavaria, the largest state in Germany. Bavaria. Bavarian Germany is where you can visit the Bavarian Alps. Here, cool. <laughs> the capital city of Munich and the beautiful Danube, second longest river in Europe. Okay, listen up. You're headed to one of the castles built by this guy, King Ludwig II of Bavaria. Hey, he was the king who lost his front teeth from eating too many German cakes and candies. Note to self, bring yep. that Even up when you play Civil Six on Sunday. <laughs> Newish one. Uh, okay, never mind. Hey, I'm just the butchered that. Great. 
That's two out of two direct hits. Uh, Ivy, if this is a direct hit and this is Neuschwanstein, then what's that? Neuschwanstein. Neuschwanstein's cousin. Duo Schwanstein. Oh boy. Well, the only way out is up. Yeah, that's kind of how a tower works. But how are we? Look, that's how. She's stealing so part of the ready. castle. What's your game this time, Carmen? One we can play out completely. Now that you're here, detectives. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Some of these, uh, some of these are really the insane. The same emperor who built the Great Wall of China had himself buried with a collection of what? Beanie Babies. Terracotta dolls. And now... Terracotta soldiers. We'll be right back. But it could have been Beanie Babies. Oh, you never know. Oh, boy. It's finally here. This <laughs> Someone stole the you kids oh. by making... Mermaid, Gibber, and the Sea Twins. Gibber will teach them What was with the 90s and making baby version of dolls? Shining blue. Napkin warm water. Hollywood hair. Hollywood hair. Barbie. Make some rage. Make a twist. Hollywood hair in 1993. That's Hollywood hair in 1984. There's no job he can't handle. I'm doing laundry. He's the incredible Tick. My code name is Nick. For awesome adventure, don't miss your pal. Let's hang Tick was, just Tick was ridiculous. Tick and I, as a kid, I didn't understand kids. it, but I couldn't look away. I watched a couple episodes as an now adult recently. It still holds up. It is the Chinese emperor who built the, the best wall, combination of with over 6, insane life -size clay and soldiers. clever. They did two live action, and both only got like a we season. Can make it if we jump. Huh? What are you, and honestly, I've seen a little bit of both. Stop her! Yeah, the cartoon just had I'm the, water. the cartoon had the right idea of lunacy and uh, competence. Ivy, I got an idea. Come on. Give me your hand. Never. Don't be so childish, Ivy. I'm trying to help you. I'll take care of myself. I do not speak German. This is an albatross D3. And the from that sentence, the I don't know if you speak German one. either, because that well, is not yes, a word you know that is fly, someone right? sleeping on the keyboard. Right. Uh, Can uh, we produce all day? Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, Ivy, and give, give me your hand. Nice I'm coming, so, sis. I'm coming. Well, the only cartoon I've said I remember is the one where he's trying to give it a baby. Uh, I'm not my head. I remember when Chair Chippendale came into. Chair Chippendale is just such a dumb idea, but they make him into such a gentleman and clever, like, villain. And also, the alien from a different dimension that makes not clones of the taken art. Oh, the fake difference to me. Okay. What is Carmen up to? So far, she's stolen a castle tower, a statue of the Empress of Russia, and sixteen Chinese foot soldiers. What's up, Chief? Hot tip, gum shoes. In the last twelve hours, there's been a rash of other robberies linked to Carmen's henchmen. What do you think for a robbery rash? Anyway, three more castle turrets have vanished. Suits of armor from the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, bishop statues from the Vatican in Rome, and check this out: the entire courtyard from the Citadel Military School in Charleston, South Carolina. Wow, they're working oh, really what well hard. Want to scan the stolen items all at once? Yeah, it's all military. Oh, it's chess. Oh, that's it looks cool. Like a chess set. Oh, she's making Check a chessboard. Mate, sis. That's why Carmen's been giving us clues in the disguise of games. She wants to play the world's biggest chess game. Ooh, I am impressed. Now, if you can just bust this clue she messenger to the agency, maybe you can nab her once and for all. C5 Express, when you absolutely positively have to bust a clue overnight. Okay, I will give the I'm gonna give the writers uh, props. That's Only really cool. Two spots are empty on this crossword puzzle. Twenty across molten rock and one fifty-five down hollow cylinder. Twenty and one fifty-five sounds like latitude and longitude again. Player, do your stuff. 
Look, one of the locations is Hawaii. <gasps> the puzzle came inside a sandwich, and British Captain James Cook landed in the Hawaiian Islands in 1795. Originally naming them the Sandwich Islands in honor of the Earl of Sandwich. That's gotta be it. Nice going, Tatiana. Whoa, hey, not so fast, my three musketeers. Hawaii is an archipelago over 1,500 miles long with 132 islands. Carmen can only be on one. And it's good to Honolulu what like everyone else mean? does. She doesn't have a king. One of Hawaii's best-known kings is Kamehameha I, who unified the islands. Ah, oh, there's a famous statue of him on the big island, where they also have an active volcano that produces hollow cylinders of molten rock called lava tubes. Yes! Tatiana, I can kiss you, huh? Oh, I never kiss on the first kiss. Aww. Oh, please. Player, C5 us to Hawaii. He, he a horny dog. He a horny old dog. The guy, like, is calling to the cat. It's very annoying. You say, ah, German always works. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Whoa, we were right. Carmen set up a giant chessboard. In there's King Kamehameha. Oh, no! Welcome, detectives. You've been my most worthy adversaries. I know you'll give me a good game. Somehow, Carmen's managed to magnetize the board and make us part of the game. Hey, I only play if it's winner take all, Carmen. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, let the game begin. Pawn G2 to G4. Make a move that gets one of your knights down here near us. Pawn B7 to B5. I think I can beat her. I know I can. Bishop F1 to G2. This is no time to show off, Zack. Knight B8 to C6. Pawn D2 to D3. Pawn D7 to D5. Oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanted to see the chess game. Come on! Let's go check Big Carmen! <laughs> I'm a dork. I, I also really like the uh, the chess scene in Harry Potter in the first movie. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? We got last year's model. What do we do now? Paddle. I could have beat her. I could have. So, Zach, now that Tatiana's going home, is there something you wanted to ask her? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Tatiana, if I ever come to Russia, you think maybe you and me... Hey! <laughs> hey, you shook it, Ivy! You shook it! Lame. You planned a winner-take-all match, and my detectives beat you, Carmen. Ah, but we never really got to play. Looks like a stalemate until next crime, player. This is, like, just think about it for a second. This kid is, like, fully communicating with a computer game like they're a real person. That's what people in ChatGPT relationships are doing, and that's unstable, man. That was fun. This is very 90s. Can I just see the episode? Uh, the tank versus oh, the episode I was literally just talking about—the tank versus chair for face chipping there. Uh, arcade games? Do you want to see in <laughs> an embarrassing uh, adaption of Super Sen? Well, not Super Senpai, of Tokusatsu. Mass Rider is really boring, <laughs> but it's it's cheesy boring. They take a really cool live-action fighting show like Power Rangers and just make it a family sitcom like like uh, 
full house. It's it's so like. Today on the Adventures of Masked Rider, a video whiz at the Cosmos has Albie bummed. I could be Albie with my eyes closed. I wish someone would teach him a lesson. Let the game begin. So Dex faces off with the arcade ace. Then, while Herbus discovers bananas, Dragon sends a monster to Earth. The Crimson Creeper will defeat Dex and bring him and his powers to me. Can our hero stop Count Dragon's monster? Find out on the Adventures of Masked Rider next! Uh, I feel bad for you that you had a toy of this. On a distant and embattled uh, planet, it's okay. Nine, It'll tell you right now. Prince named Dex is given great powers by his grandfather, the king, and is sent to the planet Earth to protect it from the advancing evil of Count Dragon and his vicious insectoids. Once on Earth, he is adopted by a kind family and learns to live as a human. With his companion, Furbus, by his side, Dex is ever vigilant, ready at a moment's notice to call on his powers to become Masked Rider. And that's literally the whole show. <laughs> By the way, Furbis is Furbis actually came before Furbies. By three years. It's Slow insane. Down, Dex. There's an Earth saying, There's someone getting fought. there is half the fun. Well, speaking of fun, how was that fiesta you catered, Barbara? Oh, it went great. So the dude has never played a video. Something bothering you, Albie? I'm a loser. You're not a loser. What yeah, makes no, you say Fur that? Furbis came three, well, uh, uh, three years before Furby. Which is weird that two people have the he same idea the cosmos all the time. to make a real hot creepy uh, big eye toys with duck bills. Well, after school at the Cosmos, he said that he can beat anyone. In any game, he's really good. He hogs the best games and never lets the little kids play until he loses, which is never. I wish someone would teach him a lesson. Did he just play so hard he broke the TV? Oh, wow. good. Check it out. Look at that. I'm glad you weren't hurt, Dex. That's the third time he's blown it this week. I just can't repair them fast enough. <laughs> I apologize. I will refrain from the digital battle game activities. Well, you go right ahead. That's what repairmen are for. <laughs> well, he is a natural. Hmm. Dex could beat Henry Wall. I could stab him. Who's Henry Wall? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a bully if you ask me. What's your dex? I'm gonna say it's... How could I be of assistance? Challenge Henry Wall tomorrow at the arcade. I'm gonna Challenge? guess it's like an old, like, yeah, you know, Eastern European ceremonial outfit. Leave the littler kids alone. You're the best player ever. Why is he leaning well, to his right this whole time talking? Okay. Come on, guys. I'll do it. Can you help me out yeah. here? It, it feels like if he talks like for too long, he's just going to flip. While Dex is helping the little boy, he will be distracted, leaving him vulnerable to attack by your dreaded insectivores. My database confirms the logic of this plan. The ones what you say may have merit. But we are all very lame for this idea. To Earth. Yes, sire. Dex wants to play games, but he'll be going down in flames. The uh, a real poet. Bring him and his powers to me. We'll be right back. That's wild. Nah. I pressed the wrong button. Whoop, nope, not that. Not that. My bad, guys. <laughs> this is what happens when you press the wrong button. Uh, there we go. 
Today on the Adventures of Masked Rider. I heard. Now back to our show. Yes. <laughs> Is great. The problem with watching The Adventures of Billy and Mandy is I I, I don't think uh, Cartoon Network uh, appreciates people <laughs> watching their stuff, so that's why I try to avoid it. Well, I'm glad I could help. He looks up to you so much. It really means a lot to him. Hey, guys. I heard about the match with Henry today. Hope you win, Dex. <sighs> What's that smell? That would have to be me. It's my new perfume. Spring Magnolia. I hoped you would notice. Wow, it's fantastic. Oh, it's the first time I've worn it. You only need one drop. May I? Chug. Yep, saw that coming. To drink perfume? It'll make you sick. Uh, what a joker, pretending to drink perfume. It cost me a bundle, too. <laughs> he can Presto, make Changeo, all that magic channel pays off after all. He can make liquids down. out of out of nothing. Oh, wait. Did he just? I thought. Did he pee that? The rain on Edenway has that exact smell. Tastes much better though. <laughs> So where's this new Dex you've been bragging about? The, sh the show Maybe is insane. He was acting pretty weird at school today. He's got super alien powers. He has a power suit. But, like, yeah, most of his show is just him doing shenanigans, like beating up an arcade bully. Where's Dex? I don't know. I thought he'd be here already. Well, maybe he's not coming. He's coming. Maybe he's hurting my reputation. Why don't you play Albie a game and warm up? I could be Albie with my eyes closed and both hands tied behind my back. You forgot standing on one leg. I I I see the sentence. It's his big his, his, his bug pheromone. I still don't understand. You want to see Dex? He should be here any minute. I love it when my Furby is my is my best cheerleader too. Insectivores. How well you grasp the obvious. I have no fight with you. But if it's trouble you want, Ecto Phase, activate. It's so choppy. Man, that spray is toxic. I need some backup. Chopper. Maybe I should eat it. Oh. Oh, mid 90s CGI. I'm wrapped up and ready to roll. Of course it talks, because why not? So that's the thing. Um, he's not a rip. <laughs> like Power Rangers, uh, Saban was on uh, Kamen Rider, not, not Kamen Rider, Mass Rider and Power Rangers, or at least for this time period. Uh, they they talked to uh, the companies that own Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, and they make a deal where they actually buy the costumes and the footage, and they combine the Japanese fighting footage with uh, we'll these, North American, like, like, shenanigans. It's part Say by the Bell and part, well, Kung Fu Fighting. But no, it, it, it's not a ripoff. It, it literally was made to be a, a mix of, you know,
can't get enough of that golden crisp. Yes, sugar bear. He'll... Everything okay. Got gotcha. you cut. It's real safe and easy for attacking. Sight attack on. Why would Kenneth be down? Get into action along with me, Wolf Brodsky. I'm going to give him a chance. Oh, yeah, it is Exo Squad. Yeah, we saw this last week. Our belly scratch and tail scratch too. I want to make a joke about Missy, but I I won't. Very by animal. Stein brings your favorite. I was not a Goosebump kid. I was. Television series. I got spooked. I got spooked so easily. Goosebump was too much for me. On Goosebumps premiering November third on Fox Kids. Watch. But as an adult. Uh, I realize how, uh, how dumb they are. And now, back to our show! Oh, the Golden Crisper? Good cereal. Bad mascot. Just way too chill. In five minutes, he forfeits. Got a pretty sister for a twirl. Oh my god, the f- We thought maybe you weren't coming. The the I dummy. Oh, uh, I can in I'm sorry I'm late. In my head okay. lives rent free the scene from the second episode the second time the dummy came where he turned the cousin into a dummy. So, what are we playing? And in it should be my choice since you challenged as, as me. a as a Agreed. human flips his head around like a dummy. Oh god, that still just oh, freaks fire. me out. I've I know it's bad. I know it's bad CGI yeah. and editing, but it's oh, it's so creepy. Arcade. So creepy. Best two out of three rounds. Agreed. And if I win, from now on, you'll let the little kids have equal time on the games. Okay. If I win, the twerp buys me all the Sundays I can eat. Deal. I. Yeah. I, <laughs> I have no skin in the game, so yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Is there really a subplot of Fergus? Fergus. Furbus tries bananas. We need to get this over with right now. I have. I have more important things to do. I fought a giant insect. Insect dude. And as owner of this peaceable palace of fun and enlightenment, I name myself your cosmically conscious referee. We don't need a referee. Uh, adult man. Like not base man. Adult man, stop touching the kids. Is that a buddy doll? Damn, I actually didn't realize those were real. Uh, this one looks okay. Oh my god, yeah. And when they just reboot called the Nightmare Room. Oh, I remember the Nightmare Room. Uh, it was... I don't know. Like, it, on paper, it seemed like Goosebumps 2.0, but... Far out. It just lacked... H-Man. Lacked enjoyment. You played this game before. Never. But I hear I the like uh, the new Goosebumps yeah, right. that uh, happened on Disney Plus truth. was actually pretty good. I haven't watched it. If you keep playing like this, Henry's bound to get more suspicious. Look, suspicious of right. what? Why don't you go grab a soda or something? He's not cheating. He, he just happens to be really good at games. Purpose, someone will see you. Money, yummy. Money, yummy. You're hungry? Yeah. Costing me my entire allowance and snacks. Hide down there where no one can see you. The kid fucking Dex becomes a doll in the end. It just comes to him naturally. Okay. Take it easy. I, I got nothing to say to that. Okay. Game. You're not losing. Haven't you heard? There are no losers. Only winners, man. Winners. Why don't you play nice? You know. And play fair. How, how did this hippie? How did this hippie make enough money to own his own business? Cool. Some freaks doing some serious banana eating over there. <laughs> oh, okay, that actually genuinely made me laugh. Get a grip, Henry. You're sweating like a horse. 
it hot in here? Oh, I know. Just like on television. You're embarrassed. Are you staying fresh? Try using always sweet deodorant. Others will thank you. Can we just play? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. No, he's kicking my ass, and he he dived into my insecurities. No. It's nothing. Well, that's the thing. Hippies at his age tend to become super corporate during the 90s. He stayed hippie, and he made money. I don't get it. Maybe I'll step outside for some fresh air. Also, he reminds me of Sammy Hagar in the 80s with the curly hair. Alone. Yeah, why was everyone following him? What are you doing here? Creeper's back. Mango picked him up on the scanner. Looks like he's headed for the amusement park. Good work, Chop. Now get back to the cave. I want you and Magno standing by in case I need you. You got it. It's morphin' time. Oh, wait, no, that's another show. How you doing, champ? <sighs> Elby, something's come up. Something very important. I must leave. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I'm serious, Elby. I have to go. You can't! One more game and you win! But a giant alien is Your killing everyone. Right. I don't care I if they destroy the bloody world. It's a tie game. Finish you the need, game. You forfeit. Come on, just play one more round. <laughs> he plays I one. To go. He plays one. You one promise. round, fifty people die in a manslaughter. I'm sorry, but I can't explain now. Albie's like, you, it was worth it. Fifty, the fifty was a good sacrifice for me getting to play more understand. games at an arcade. Oh shit, you're right. Mid 90s? Oh, yeah, he's probably like the biggest weed. <laughs> you know, I, I could do without a, a close up of that dude's face. Thank you very much. What is that run? Watch out, guys. I'm just, you know. I'm just running with my chest out and my jacket, you know, to the side. <laughs> I'm just trying to flaunt. you are. The last time I beat you wasn't enough. You have to come back for more. I'm a masochist. My fight is not with you. You want a So yeah, right now is the Japanese footage, and now it's back into the American footage. Yep, now we're back into Japan. The masked rider powers will never serve evil. It was honestly really smart because they could save a lot of money on on action scenes and stuff like that. You cannot defeat Mask Rider. Why does the creeper sound like he's a serial mascot? Oh, I'm scared. All I want is a bite of my cookie crisps. In I'm my alone I'm happy time. With the way things are going on Earth, we don't see enough of your smile. 
I so rarely have a reason to. Maybe I also will but it giggle. Looks like the ha ha! Ha ha! Dominate the masked rider. <laughs> you know what? We don't need to see your smile. Rider kick. God, that was lame. This is Just, a disaster. God, that was Whose lame. Whose idea was it anyway to send that pathetic creeper on this mission? I believe it was your idea. But of course, we all thought it was a good one at the time. Then you Silence. all suck. But I, I Why did you all think I had good ideas? Sight. Everyone knows I'm an idiot. Dex may have defeated me today, but the powers of the Master Rider will be mine and soon. Or else. This is only a test. And this is a commercial. It has the finest teachers. I'm sure. This perfect student. The newest technology. The robot. And the strangest secret ever. Your piano lessons start tomorrow on an all new Goosebumps here on Fox Kids. No little cinnamon. Get close a little. That big red. While you chew and say, go have the Christmas. Nom, 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 nom. Nope. Nope. Don't need to look at little naked fairy children. Oh, and, and their name is Fairy Winkles? Yeah, no. It's Friday afternoon on Fox Kids. Be here for an amazing discovery. Seems a camera. Take my picture. A disastrous device. Are you okay? That captures more than memories. It predicts the future and it makes it bad. Beware, it's a scare on. Say cheese. And I, here on an all new Goosebumps next Friday afternoon on Fox Kids. And now, back to our show. <laughs> Ready for another match? We'll see. Hi. Sit down. I'll be Dex's back. Too late to do me any good. I'll be. Henry just ordered a second victory Sunday. You have a right to feel disappointed, but sometimes you have to make a difficult choice. I had to do that today. I told him you had a good reason for leaving. You promised. My time is not my own, Albie. I can never tell when Dragon will set a trap or try to trick me. I have a responsibility to the people on Enoi and the people on Earth. It was Dragon? He sent one of his insectivores to capture me. What happened? I defeated him for the moment. And if I didn't, a but carnival would another. be a gory mess. He will not give up. I know it. Was there a battle? Yes. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you today. You see, it really doesn't mean much if I beat Henry. It doesn't? I have special powers from another planet. But you know what? It would mean a lot if you beat him. Dex is right. Is but one of your powers, like, well, ultimate gameplay? Like, I don't understand. And if I showed you some of my best moves. <laughs> I don't understand why you playing you a game again. well. Then I kick them. It's cool with me, too. And I've given our man Henry the word. Champion or not, no more game hogging. Or his history. Okay, that's a cool dude. Come on, Albie, we got work to do. Hey, I ordered another Sunday. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, who did that? I want to know who it was. Actually, that's a good question. Who did do that? Hey, check this out. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Will Hal be able it's, to get his TV to give up smoking? Yeah, it's it's not good. As someone who is a Tokusatsu fan, Mass Rider's bad. But no, it's always fun and every once in a while just to check it out. Okay. Yes, yeah, well, some of them. Okay, let's see who we can raid. 
Uh, you know what? Haven't raided Nail in a bit. Nail's a good dude. I appreciate everyone coming out and oop, weird space. I appreciate everyone coming out. I'll be back on Thursday for I'm going to be a part of uh, Perry and Simon's Jack stream. That's going to be insane. But yeah, until then, uh, have fun with Neil playing Elden Ring and uh, enjoy your Wednesday. As always, peace. <laughs>